Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we are going to take a look at an older version of Linux Mint. Now, this is the first version of Linux Mint that I could find. This is not the very first version of Linux Mint. It's actually Linux Mint 7, but it's the oldest that I could actually download from the Linux Mint website. And I couldn't actually get the first version. So with that being said, we're going to look back on the first version of Linux Mint and see how similar to modern day Linux Mint it really is. Alright, so as you can tell, here we are on our Linux Mint desktop, and if we go here, as you can see, this menu looks very similar to the modern day Linux Mint Mate start menu. Anyway, we're going to go to the software manager. Oh yeah, that's definitely different. So we've got Mint install right here, which is definitely, definitely, definitely looks different than it did before. It almost looks just like the Synaptic Package Manager, almost. I'm going to go over here. Oh, it has Package Manager. I wonder if that's the Synaptic Package Manager. It. Oh, okay. So this is the actual synap Synaptic Package Manager. And, ooh, those buttons on top. Uh, circles on. That's different. So we have this right here. This is the Software Center. And here is the synaptic the synaptic package manager. Why can't I pronounce that? Oh my gosh. Synaptic. Never mind. We'll just call this the package manager because apparently I can't pronounce synaptic. You know what? Never mind. Okay, so they definitely look very similar. So that's interesting. I don't know why they don't just have the synaptic package manager because they're pretty much the same thing. So that's an interesting thing to take a look at. We're also, oh, it looks like they have Gnote. Oh, that's not Gnote. Tomboy Notes. Interesting. Um, oh, oh, you can create a notebook. All right, so. Wait. It looks just like Gano. I wonder if this ended up becoming Gano. I'm pretty sure it did. Anyway, that's interesting. What does the file manager look like? And that's pretty much the same, except, you know, except for the icons. That's pretty much the same as it still is. Uh, terminal. Oh, yeah, that definitely looks... Well... Eh... It's just a white background, pretty much. The only way to keep your health is to eat what you don't want, drink what you don't like, and do what you'd rather not. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, I do kind of like those little notes that they have when you open up the terminal. I know Slackware is a Linux distribution that still does that, and I noticed you don't really get that on modern-day Linux Mint. So, that's kind of cool. And the little Tux right there. Hey, Tux. For those of you who don't know, Tux is the Linux mascot. He's like a penguin. It doesn't make any sense. Like, but that's just the Linux mascot. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Firefox web browser. I want to see what it looks. Oh, my gosh. This is so old. Like, could I even make a new Oh, you can make a new tab. Oh, they're down here. Oh. At least you can do that. I don't think it'll do anything, though. Okay. So, it looks like I am... I want to try something. I'm running this in virtual box, so I'm not sure if this will work. But if I go... Oh. That's interesting. I didn't know VirtualBox will automatically connect you to the internet like that. I, I'm a VirtualBox noob. Anyway. Um, 
I kind of want to see if it will do it. Oh, it's not even loading. Yep. Nope. And it's not even like sizing the page correctly. Yeah, let's get out of here. Well, hmm. Let's see what Thunderbird looks like. La la la. Hmm. It still looks the exact same. It pretty much still looks like that. Okay. If we go to all applications over here, let's see some things. Huh, computer janitor. Cleans up so it keeps your system clean. Okay, we have stuff like that on modern day Linux, obviously, like sudo apt get auto remove. Gnome do? Do things as quick as possible. What? Oh, is is this a... What is that? Is it... Huh. Oh! It's like a quick menu. Calculator. Hmm. Will it actually do it? What? Enter? Oh, you have to do enter. Okay. That's interesting. That's something modern day Linux got rid of. I want to see if the installer still looks like it did. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, that's the same. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here, LibreOffice right here. OpenOffice.org database. OpenOffice.org. So this is back when it was still called OpenOffice. Oh, that's so old. Uh, okay, I'm out. That's interesting. Palm OS? What is that? I don't even know what that is. You seem to be running GNOME Pilot for the first time. The following steps will blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll just click forward. Interesting. Maybe I should do this for a video. What is Palm OS? Because I don't think it exists anymore. I don't know about it. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, we've got Gparted. Comes with that. Pigeon Internet Messenger. I think it still has that. Pulse Audio... Blah, blah, blah. Rhythm box. Let's see what that looks like. Eh, that still looks exactly the same. Um, mm, let's see what kind of screensavers it had. Oh, literally, the actually, does modern day Linux still have screensavers? I know Slackware does, but I'm not sure if modern day Linux Mint or Ubuntu still have screensavers i haven't tried setting that up actually i hope they do because screensavers are awesome but then again oh yeah just checking for my other computer right here yeah mod modern day linux yeah it still has screensavers at least linux mint does so yeah that's interesting hmm built-in sound recorder that is interesting. Oh, a screenshot built in. That's kind of nice. Time and date. Users. Internet. Relay chat. Interesting. Hmm. I guess that's pretty much it. So, in terms of layout and look and feel... I'd say it's kind of similar to modern day Linux Mint Mate. Is that's what it looks like to me. Of course the icons are old and everything and all the apps are outdated and nothing on the internet really works. Oh wait, I want to try something. Will that shortcut work? Sudo not no, not sudo. Control Alt T. Will that open the terminal? No, it will not. You can't have Linux without control T people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the terminal, wherever I can find it. And I want to try apt. 
I want to see if it still works. Apt search tux. Let's see if I can get any tux games. Hmm. Super tux. Super tux cart. Let's do that. Pseudo apt install super tux cart. All right, is it seriously going to do it? Does it still work? Nope. I figured. I figured they would have shut down the repositories for this by now. So, of course, you can't really install anything on it. Nothing on the internet's going to work. So, if you have a super old computer that this is the only thing it'll run, just get a new computer. <laughs> but um this is an interesting thing to look back on. It's Linux Mint has definitely come a long way since this first release. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.